Hey there, and welcome to Journey to Kidlit. I'm Brooke Van Sickle, and I'm your host around here. Well, I do apologize. I have not done a video in a long time, but I have an excuse. I was busy creating my picture book, Pirates I Could See, which sets sail on February 25th. So what does the publishing process of a picture book look like? Well, first you start with a story. If you don't have a story, you don't have a book. And you need to make sure it's a good story. So not everything is approved, which is why it takes a little bit of time. And since most of the time, the writer is not going to be the illustrator, the next step is to find someone who is. So you go through another round of submissions and you find somebody who's going to be a perfect fit for the story. And then you need to give them some time to enjoy the story, get to know the characters and develop how they want to build the book. This takes a little bit of time. So while that's happening, the writer is working on their edits. The very first thing that you need to get from an illustrator is the cover and an approved dummy, like the, the layout of how the book is going to look. The reason why we start with the cover is because then that can be sent to the marketing team who can do their job while we're finalizing the rest of the story. So while the writer is finishing up the manuscript with all of its edits and the illustrator is finishing all of their art and getting all the illustrations finalized and completely approved, the marketing team sets to work on building the buzz on the book, which means they're doing cover reveals and teasers and setting up interviews with the author or the illustrator to meet with bloggers and podcasters. They're sending out press releases. So that way the book is featured in news outlets. It's a lot of work. <laughs> and then once the author and the illustrator have everything done, we bring it all together to get it finalized into an approved layout. This is when pages like the about author and illustrator, the copyright, the dedication, that's when those come into play. You get everything laid out in InDesign, you have it all set up, and the next step is to send it to the printer. Now this step was a lot for us. <laughs> Not only did we have a bunch of digital rounds to get approval on, but then they also sent us a ton of hard covers to make sure that those got approved. And that took a few weeks, which is not what I expected. But once they are approved, then it's the printer's turn to finalize the order and get it shipped to the publisher. And then it's the fun part. Once you have books in hand, it's time to celebrate and to plan your launch, which is what we're doing on February 25th. We're hosting a live Ask Me Anything with all of my online friends. But a lot of times authors will just plan a book signing or reading at a local bookstore so that way all of their family and friends can come and sign and get books from them. I'm also doing something a little unique for my launch. I'm doing a I'm doing a kickoff with a whole bunch of preschools and daycares around the area so that I can read my book to a bunch of different children. I'm super excited. I'd also love for you to have your own copy of Pirates Stuck at Sea. You can order your book at our publishing website at bibliokidpublishing.com. The link is also below in the description. And if you order by March 31st, I'll be sure to send you a signed author copy. And if you'd like to get more publishing tips, visit our website at journeytokidlit.com and subscribe to our channel to be notified of new episodes. Until next time, happy writing!